I see a journey. A man crossing the sands. A knight. What the flick, everybody? Big crowd, Ben Mankiewicz, Christy Lemire, Matt Achety, Alonzo Duralde. In the cone of silence. What? No. You can't hear all the final questions we're going to ask. <laughs> uh, so uh, it's the big summer films. Uh, Conan, Hi. Conan T. Barbarian. It's the, it's the end of the summer. They are dwindling. Let's be clear. Yeah, yeah. Dragging out we're right, the, the, right the, before the, Labor Day. The butt yeah. end of summer. Right. Studios got to dump their crap out. Is that right? I didn't know that. Is that what is that what happens at the end of the summer? So end this of the is summer. Not, you don't get the big movies now. You get the last gasp, but if they were really good, they'd have opened in right. May or June. And you get like genre movies. Like next week, we're going to have like a lot of genre movies. All right, right. Oh, look go. at this. And then Same. we go, and then we go into September where they basically burn off all the movies they thought were going to be off <laughs> and now aren't. So. Right. right, that part I knew. I didn't know that August was ahead. a dumping ground. It's all right, the end of August. Yeah. Okay. This is a very exciting week though because we have the remake. Don't call it a remake of Conan the Barbarian. This is the role that made Arnold Schwarzenegger a bona fide action star. Here we have Jason Momoa, who in child form is born by C-section in the middle of battle, which means that he is destined for hard things in, in his life. Um, he grows up to be a badass, and he has um, all kinds of romance novel hair and a lot of muscles and a sword. And that's pretty much all I could figure <laughs> out from the plot. Now, you were not able to see that in, in 3D. Which is good if, for you. If you saw it in 3D, <laughs> it was even, it was worse. The 3D looks like total crap and it's absolutely an afterthought. Like yeah. I, as I often do, took the glasses and put them on top of my head, whatever. And you, it's all like backgrounds of trees that pop out and they don't help at all. They don't help the narrative. Here's what I did. What'd you do? I saw the film One Day, which we'll also be reviewing this mm -hmm. week, right afterwards. And I kept the 3D glasses on <laughs> for that. So when Jim Sturgis would toss his hair, it would, the dandruff would come right yeah. at nice. it. Um, yeah, the 3D added nothing. Yeah. I, I saw it in 2D, in fact, because I... Did it I, look better? I, I, well, I couldn't say. that yeah. I, I couldn't compare, but it, it, it was... I'd read in enough places that it was mediocre 3D, and I, I, you know, it's Marcus Nispel, who, this, this is the guy who directed the remakes of uh, Texas Chainsaw Texas Massacre. And Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. So it's like yeah. another cruddy remake for right. his. And Pathfinder, movie. another cruddy movie. Yeah, so, uh, you know, so yeah, I knew it wasn't going to be anything special. But yeah, even in 2D, it's just sort of like, eh. I, I did like the set pieces in this movie. Like, I liked the sand zombies that do parkour, and I liked <laughs> the, uh, the octopus and stuff like that. But yeah, you're, you know, you nailed it with the romance here. I was, <laughs> I thought of Fabio far too often. Uh, while I would have liked Jason to have Momoa. seen Fabio in this because it would have at least had a sense of fun to it that is totally lacking. Like the first yeah. one, if you go back and look at it, it knows it's big, ridiculous fun. This is totally self-serious. There's no fun to be had. No one turns into a giant snake here. I would have liked that. Yeah, I, I had a few drinks before this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Did it make it better no, for you? Didn't no, didn't help. No, it still sucked. Yeah. I saw it in 2D, not in 3D. I can tell you that the 2D did look better. Okay. Yeah, no, having I'm, not even I'm, seen it in 3D. I'm told uh, by Game of Thrones fans that Momoa is actually kind of charismatic. In totally. That, on that show. Uh, you know, here's my problem, is that I think that it, it's tough stepping into Arnold's shoes in this role. That's This is Arnold's signature role. So everyone's and, doomed And, and say what you will about Arnold these days. There's a charm that he has mm -hmm. in that first movie. The other movie, let's not forget, directed by John Milius mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. co-written by John Milius and Oliver Stone, oh, which is why you get that subplot about cults, and it's it's kind of those topical guys, at the time. Those guys do not talk about politics. Uh, no. <laughs> at all. Um, the first one is almost an epic movie. It, you know, it's a Dino De Laurentiis production. Mm -hmm. This movie looks cheap. It comes off mm -hmm. cheap. Right? As much as there's nice set pieces, it still feels cheap from time to time. But the first big like, chase has that shaky cam that you hate. You can't really tell what's yeah, happening. Yeah, I, I didn't like that. Cam. I mean, Ron the other Perlman's thing too is... Wig. Oh, you what know, a waste of Ron Perlman. Yeah. Yeah, what yeah. A way, a he can be so funny. And what a waste, waste of yeah. Stephen Lang. I think Stephen Lang's a really good actor. I thought. Right. He, I, I mean, I think he helped it. I think there was a little no, bit I of character. No, I think he helped. He was the I bad guy. Jason Momoa tried. I don't really... I think that he's probably... 
decently cast as Conan, but who cares about an origin story of Conan? Like, I don't need him out for vengeance. I've read all those Robert E. Howard stories. Mm -hmm. Conan just shows up in those stories and kicks ass. Like, and steals things. And I steals did, things, yeah. right? Like, I thought that, um, I think Jason Momoa did have great, I thought there was a lot of, uh, that he was really charismatic in Game of Thrones. He didn't say much. He spoke right. only Dothraki. Um, <laughs> he, uh, but, uh, and you're the, the one nerd who calls now, us nerds. Ben. Uh, oh, he's awesome in Game of Thrones. He really is. Uh, Kyle Drago, <laughs> obviously. I don't have to tell you that. Um, but the it, like the set pieces and that you guys are like this movie it doesn't matter because but it's crap it, it's so boring it it's right so yeah. the same like right. boring fight talk fight talk yeah. fight talk and they, big climax and then a you know what it felt like and those talks all feel like speeches yeah. everything feels like one speech after what it felt that. like to me is I I've seen people write about the last Transformers movie and the way Michael Bay directs where it's it's like somebody tells him, oh, you have to have people talk in between action se sequences. Doesn't matter what they talk about, but you've got to have people talking at some point. And that's what happens in a Michael Bay movie. That's what happens here. But yeah. It doesn't provide any kind and, of characterization like, or depth or anything. The fight scenes kind yeah. of work. The fight scenes are, you know, for the most part, well staged and I think they work and you really, you know, you see people get it and you're like, you kind of cringe and, and to me that's kind of a mark of a well shot, well executed fight scene but you don't really care why they're fighting, and you don't really care about these characters. That's the biggest problem, is that there's no, you know, in the, in the first couple of Conan movies, like there's a willingness, even in the second one, even in Conan the Destroyer, which is not very good, there's a willingness to kind of have fun with the character. Which and Rose McGowan does, at least. Which Rose McGowan. But she this is it up movie. like crazy. Yeah, but she's, yeah, she, she came in from like Planet Showgirls and is giving <laughs> right. this like super, you know, But this like, isn't no even a fun, thing. bad movie. There's no, no you know. No, no. Other a, a, than that, no. It's, it's just a bad, bad movie. With Rose McGowan, though, I mean, they make a big deal of the fact that she is like a half witch, right? She's this witch in training. She can use her supernatural powers for evil sometimes, and she does. So she's and, a woman. Right. <laughs> right. Sorry. But, but, <laughs> but then when she has the big fight with Rachel Nichols, who is the obligatory love interest, like it's a hair pulling kind of physical smackdown. Like if she wanted to, to screw her up, she could just go poof and whatever. Also, Rose McGowan wearing a lot of the clothes she probably wore when she was dating Marilyn Manson, and they were walking down the red <laughs> yeah, carpet. She looked, like, she looked like one of the real housewives of Hyboria. <laughs> you know, with, with the hair pulled back and the high forehead, mm -hmm. my wife comes out, she went to the movie with me and says, why are they trying to make her look like Christina Ricci? Yeah, <laughs> and she's a beautiful girl, but she looks really, really weird in this anyway. But, but Rachel, what's her fellow, say? The, the Rachel lead, Nichols? Like Rachel Nichols, she was so 70s. Like, she looked like she walked out of a Protein 21 commercial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, was, she was giving me strong, like, lowest child in Great Gatsby vibe the whole time. It was really bizarre. Again, uh, a totally different movie, right? Yeah. People go to the Real Housewives line. It's sort of a crutch now. You have Real Housewives of Newark, but the Real Housewives of Hyboria. That, that was uh, it? That, that was a winner. No one that can top that. Yeah, we're okay. done here. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> done. going to wrap it up. That was good stuff. All right, so, uh, but you liked it better than anyone here, I think. Yeah, really? I gave it a 2.2. Oh. oh. No, you didn't. Oh. You give it a 5.5. .5. Oh, I'm sorry. I got my movies mixed up. Yes. I, yeah, <laughs> you must, sorry. You must, clearly, you're really committed to this it's, number. We've okay. talked him out of it. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, I, I give it a 5.5 .5 for the for the parkour zombies and the octopus, and that's it. And, right. and Rose McGowan. Uh, I didn't uh, like it. I found it uh, incredibly dull from uh, start to finish, right from the moment of the birth straight through. Uh, I gave it a hmm. 2.1. Same, 2.3. Uh, okay. I, I give it a few points because it's got good fight scenes and Ron Perlman, even though he's completely wasted mm -hmm. in this movie. They waste him. He's, he's not wasted. He, I, I mean, he may have been, but. <laughs> he's uh, wasted by others. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I give it a three. All right, overall grade of uh, Conan, Conan, uh, 3.2. Don't waste your time. And what's it doing on the tomato meter? Uh, 26. And it only made $10 million in yeah. its opening weekend. That is stunningly bad. That's why it's here in late August. <laughs>